We did corporate world, so we know that um, Barstool is corporate. Yeah, Barstool was recently acquired by Penn, and yeah. they were requ- acquired. Well, I think high in the uh, in the million, almost to a billion, right? Yeah, it was like nine hundred and something million. Right. So, so you can't because think about it. If you're the owner now, you're the new owner, right? Mm-hmm. Or the the CEOs and the CFOs and the you know every letter in the alphabet. Mm-hmm. Everything that you do, that your employees do, reflects you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. So. He can't. He can't. He. You can't get away with that shit. No. Not. Not these days, bro. Not a white man. You know, white Caucasian. I'm not saying white and Caucasian, but you know what I mean. If he was at a festival, would it be okay? If there was no cameras recording, it, you no know, festivals. There's cameras everywhere. No, nah, dog. I don't think you. I think you need to watch when you're. On, you know. I think you got to watch everything you do. I think that's too sensitive. He got bro. fired. So somebody thought it was wrong. No, I think if he was over at No Jumper, it would have been okay. But I think that no. if he's at a bar stool that's backed by Penn, you got to think No Jumper isn't backed by a Penn putting billion dollars in there. But pocket. I bet you if he said, I bet you Danny Mullen don't say the N word, even I, at singing a song in No Jumper being filmed, guarantee it. I guarantee Adam won't say it. Yeah, you got a, you got a good point. They won't say that shit. They won't. But let's say a clip floated of them un like unintentionally. Well, I, know, I know Danny Mullen said it. He's been busted right, on I camera. Think, I was like, I think I heard that yeah. situation. But say they're at Coachella, they're off the shroomies and they're just chilling and uh, right. my nigga, my nigga comes on and then they just start my nigga, my nigga. Or what are you Content. mad at them? Content. It's like oh, not the way they if they chop it up and he just says n n n n n n. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like the go back to the American Cholo. Uh, mm, okay. You know, with the whole, you know. The coon. The coon thing. Mm-hmm. You know, that was a, a edited video that made him look bad. Right, absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? They could do the same thing with Mincy, dropping mm-hmm. the, N, the N-word. And, Especially and, with AI right now, too. And then, and then you know, being that it's he's ba- he's backed by a big business, they don't give a fuck. They'll fire his ass. They'd rather fire him than, now than deal with the backlash. Exactly. Like, we did something. There you go. Mm. You, should, you people should be happy now. You know, you people would maybe, I don't know, the, the NAACP or some shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You just got to be careful with anything and everything you say, Doug. Don't post shit. Don't, don't, don't say shit. Because I, I just picture a white person at a festival just enjoying themselves, and they nigga just comes out of their mouth, and then the song is one of them songs. I'm like, yo, bro, you're good. You, you, you're you good. You didn't just commit an ultimate crime, bro. Like, nah, man. I think if he was a random, maybe, and no one else was bothered by it, mm-hmm. but you represent Barstool. Mm, that's a solid point. You know that's what I mean? He's not just some random dude. That's a solid point. You know what I mean? Let's see what Dave, who is Mr. Barstool Presidente, Mr. You know the rules, one bite only. Let's see what he had to say. Oh, man, so. Oh, shit. That's not what the one is. It's one above it. This one. Sports has been out there for a long time. This now, Barstool. Oh, look, he said he raped the N word. You know what that means, right? Uh-huh. He said that shit over and over. Is that a they spell it wrong. But he just writing. Uh, yeah, no, rapping, rap. No, no, no. The the on the screen it said raping. <laughs> yeah, they definitely have to tell. Yeah, they sp- they spelled that shit wrong. There's a clip of him just saying it really quickly without all of this shit. There it is. Defends him. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Edmonds, an ex-employee of Barstool Sports, was let go from the company recently after using... Shout out to the young Turks. ...on his show. Get the gayo, double up! Just- he was meant to uttering the N-word that led to his ouster. Bad news, this sucks. Oh, he so said, get some... Hold on. Was let go from he said, get some yayo, double up, nigga. ...slur on his show. Get some yayo, double up! Just- he was meant oh, to uttering shit. the N-word that led to his ouster. Bad news, this sucks. So today we had to fire Ben Mintz. He was rapping... Uh, lyrics to a rap song, reading the words off his phone. It's like a Ron Burgundy moment. He's just not the brightest ball to ever come down. Pipe Ten oh, built differently. Yeah. Founder of the company, oh, Jay Portnoy, had a not so surprising take on the matter. Ten, five minutes, I gotta bounce. Is convinced. Okay. And they've been very clear, Penn, since they took over. 
It's a zero tolerance policy. See that? You can't do stuff like that. Can't. And pivots to blaming Penn Entertainment, who owns his company. A far cry from yeah, three years for Portnoy and Co. He'll just yell something in his EDP like twang, like this, like in the middle. There was a hardened criminal two yeah. down. He goes. <laughs> and then he'll just go quiet for like another 20 minutes and then he'll say something like, and have it like just kind of look at it. where he had free reign to spew racial slurs i still disagree with it and maybe i'm naive mints would tweet in the wake of the video this morning i made an unforgivable mistake slipping on air while reading a song lyric i meant no harm and have never felt worse about anything i apologize for my actions i am truly sorry and ashamed of myself bottom line is this i hate the decision i don't agree but, with the decision mm, where's the but but yep. <laughs> it's not my decision to make See? i would tell the rupert murdoch owned new york post Penn paid a lot of money for barstool and they have to make the best decisions to protect their exactly business. Exactly what I said, I trust brother. And respect Penn CEO Jay Snowden that he makes what he thinks is the right move, and that's all you can ask for. Mm. Doesn't mean I'll always agree, but again, his deals with things I don't have to think or deal with. Penn operates 43 brick and mortar casinos in 20 states. See, it affects all, all, no all the businesses. It doesn't affect just one, but now you have a racist working for you. 23. So that must mean you're a racist yourself. A bar company. Do you know what I mean? Portnoy yeah. would express in his Twitter video 43 titled different Emergency casinos. Press Conference yeah, dog. that Penn was worried about in 20 different states. Themselves. It's like if Rick They're went on a fucking license. N and bomb. Cabinets. It spazzes out, you know. Portnoy would spazzes out on the N word and just drops it over the word. Sorry, I didn't read it. That shit affects all of us. I was like, oh, he's an ISIS guy. You know, this day, Portnoy. Instead, the following on your site I never condone rape, but if you're a size six and you're wearing skinny jeans, you kind of deserve to be raped. <laughs> Correct. This is not I right. By that. I think it's a funny joke. And this day, Portnoy, the same company that launched a podcast in 2020 that spelled out the N word which came under fire at the time, deservedly so. Yeah, but they weren't, they, own, they weren't owned by Penn okay, yet. I am in right. good spirit. That's why. I am definitely an idiot, but I am also a resilient one. We'll have a long video tomorrow thanking everyone. Way, way too grateful to be too down. Recent reports indicate Penn's stock plunged from $30 a share to under $27 a share. Wow. Penn's total acquisition of Barst 551. would cost over $550 million. After this piece by the Post, the stock, at least at the time of this taping, is at $26.12. See, bro? Portnoy Damn. would have... Now imagine if they kept them. So I get every Tom, Dick, and Harry since this Mizzy thing. Be like, Prez, you're sellout. You're sellout. Hey, Prez, you sold out. Well, as the kids say, no doy. No doy I sold out. You're just figuring that out? I started a company. <laughs> I sold it the fuck out. Made hundreds of millions, made millions for everybody who grinded a million. Yeah, we sold the fuck out, and that's what you do when you're well, an entrepreneur. It's business. You start this little company you dream one day, you sell the fuck out. So no doy.